Hey guys, it's Dev and today is going to be the first video of Technique Tuesday which is a new series I'm going to do where I teach you guys one technique with photography, videography or anything related to that. So let's roll the intro and then after that we'll get into the rule of thirds. She got two little horns and they give me a little... Okay, so the rule of thirds, for those of you that don't know what it is, which probably most of you clicking on this video probably don't know what it is or have a decent idea, it's basically a grid. That's all it is. It's a grid. Now, if I'm going to use this door in the background, that would be the vertical lines. And then if we take my eye level, my eye level is about right. Uh, this will be one of the horizontal lines and then my mouth should be close to the other one. Anyway. That is the rule of thirds. Now, most of you have seen this grid on your phone, but you don't know how to use it. So that's what this video is about. So let's say you were taking a selfie, like with my headshot right now, I could probably demonstrate this. So let's say you were taking a selfie and you were looking to the side a bit. If I'm in the center, I kind of feel off center, like it feels like the picture's a little bit heavier on this side. But if I move over a little bit, line up with like the door in the background, then it feels a little bit more like I'm looking kind of into, like it gives me more space in front of my face. Same thing for the other side, just look the other way. So that's one way you can use the horizontal lines. But keynote with photos of people, you want to get your eyes on one of the lines or you want to get one of your eyes on one of the crossing points of the two lines. Like, for example, around about here. Okay, so another way you can use the vertical lines are with buildings or any straight lines that go vertically. So with buildings, let's say taking a photo down the street or like in the case of my headshot, these, well, the black box behind my head is actually a door, but you can use that to align your photo so it's straight and to create an interesting depth of field type effect. So now I'm using it to make a little bit of a contrast between my face and the background. That's why I'm using the door, but that's not the point. That's not in today's video. Um, so you want to use it to create, to either fill up one third of the screen on the left side to a point, well left or right, I'm not quite sure, this is confusing me now. Right side? You can use it to fill up a third of the screen with something useful, like let's say there's a boring wall right here. You can use it to fill up that and on the other side is the walkway of the street going down or something like that. So that's how you can use that, just to fill up a bit of the screen and get a more interesting composition on the other side. You can do the same thing with the uh, horizontal lines, especially for taking landscape photos, like you can align the horizon with it. Or if you were taking a photo of a wall again, you can use, like let's say there's a sidewalk and the sidewalk's red or something, and the wall's like white. And then there where the red and white meet, you put it on the bottom line and it will create a very interesting photo. I don't know why I used colors now. I'm not good at this yet, but first episode, so you'll probably forgive me. The grid is on screen. Well, should have been on the screen a few times now so you guys can kind of see now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check some of my photos that I've taken and I can show you how I use the rule of thirds on those so I'm gonna switch over to my phone right now I'll probably have the images on screen somewhere somehow but it'll be there so get my little iPhone and I'll show you the images so we're gonna take this photo first I don't know if you guys can see see it all too well but it's one I took of my friend Kirsten he was in the previous video if you want to check out that and how we got these Instagram shots it's up here somewhere probably on that side I don't know but it's there so let's look at this photo now if you look at the photo you can see he's holding the camera on one hand that's kind of in the center of the photo but not really but because it's a vertical photo it's kind of hard to explain now with how I did it on yet but I'll put the grid on the photo or something like that um, if you see like he's kind of leaning backwards so he's kind of leaning back and because the most of his mass is leaning backwards and it's kind of off to the side I decided to put him on the right side so on that right vertical line and I aligned like his head like where his hairline and his forehead meet that I aligned to the other half well the other third half and that creates an interesting composition and doesn't make it feel like he's kind of cramped into the frame and squeezed or something it, it feels like he has space and then obviously the lens flare also coming through there a bit, which is nice. But anyway, this video is about the rule of thirds. Nextly, we're going to go for this photo of us standing there on the bridge. Now, as you can see, we are kind of center framed, 
but I did use the rule of thirds with the vertical lines to kind of just make a more interesting composition. It's not perfect, but it's close enough for you to get the idea and with the leading lines from the bridge, it kind of works out. So I center framed us because I want us to be the main focus of the photo and the bridge is like on a, like one third of the screen is totally just bridge and the other side is just total landscape. Like two thirds of the screen is mostly a little bit of bridge fading away and the other half is just field and whatever was in the background. So that creates space once again, makes it feel a bit more interesting and it just makes the photo look a little bit cooler. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these photos it's from the photo shoot I did with me and my girlfriend. So, if you look at the photo, you can see I'm very off to the right and I'm looking to my left. Which means I need to be staring into something, that's why I didn't align myself on the left side. Because otherwise it feels like, it kind of feels like I'm enclosed and squeezed into the space. But in this way, I don't feel as enclosed and squeezed. So, if you look at the photo, I'm directly like the center line of my back is mostly aligned with that third. So I'm like a third, a third of the photo and the other third is just foreground blur and stuff like that. I'll get into bokeh blur into another video. If this video is very old, then there should be a link up here for the one I already did. Kind of weird thinking about it that way. Anyway, as you can see, I'm on the third. My head is aligned with the top third. And yeah, that's about all you can align. That's, that's really how easy, easy it is. You just try to align at least two parts of the photo to anything on these lines and you should be good to go. So yeah, if you guys found this helpful, please leave a like, leave a comment if I missed something or if I'm just stupid and talking totally wrong or anything like that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Technique Tuesday. This is Bedev and I'm out.